over here! So how does Aaron fare against that tiger? Let's see. Not bad. Not bad at all. But. The safer thing would be to... Put him there and just keep... And just not attack. Yeah. And let then... Me, let me see. Yes. It would be 12, so... If this tiger decides to come back... Yeah. He can take a couple of hits. And you could also nuke him with Micaiah. That's, that's kind of like what I'm banking on at this point, yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, because they can each... Because... Yeah, because they have Soth a support converse already. with Micaiah, and Micaiah's... Got you, okay. ...can converse with Soth. You can do that every chapter, too. So, sometimes I get very frightened. I can't think what I'd do if I lost you. It feels like my heart would rip apart. You have to promise me. Promise we'll both live through this. I'll do my best to stay alive. That's all I can do. Is that good enough for you? That's a little insensitive. <laughs> I want to. I want to treat it as a lose condition if either of us die. <laughs> That's essentially what it is. Yeah. If Edward dies, I'll be sad, but I think I could live on. Ooh, yes, please. All right then. I think we should, yeah, take out this tiger and then have Nolan move forward to plug the gap from that other guy. Yeah. So that Meg doesn't have to do it. Meg, you are successfully taking up space, though, and I appreciate that. Uh, hit him with an arrow first, maybe? Okay, there's no surprises over here, are there? Nope. Well, first, let me check. Uh, what's your movement speed as a beast? Movement is... Nine. nine. So, if this if this guy transforms... One, You'll two, have... three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am freaking glad I checked. Because if I put, if I put uh, Leonardo there and he transformed, that would have been bad. Okay, so we need to put him on the bottom yes. rung then. I'm glad I checked. Uh, before you confirm that, I just want to check the the uh, enemy reinforcements chart. Thank you. Which tells me that... Okay, there's going to be a new tiger and a new cat coming from the top entrance. Okay. I think about this turn, and then two turns later there'll be a, another tiger and a cat from this bottom entrance. Gotcha, so we should be good right now. Yeah. Good. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and he would move over here. So Edward's safe if we do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Leonardo, when this is all over, I'd like to learn some of your combat tricks. Hey, it's good to see you're still alive. I'm sure we can keep this up. See, you see how that wasn't really a conversation? They both just said two different things. Yeah, you're right. I see what you're talking about. Oh, hey, it's still nice, though. Yeah. I think we can just, like, kind of, like, gloss I, over those and I get that in the they, future. Yeah, we don't have to read all of those out. Um, yeah, because this game had so many characters, and they wanted to give you more. They didn't want to figure out, especially since availability changes from chapter to chapter, you know? Oh. Yeah. I'm willing to do it, yeah. Sweep the leg. The thing is, the problem is if he misses, then then, then we'll make heal Meg and plug the gap. Yeah, sounds good. Let's it, do it. It'll be messy, but it'll work. That's <laughs> kind of cool to see that these guys yeah. can just punch. Yeah. Plus, we get to see the Lagoos boxing. <laughs> nice work, Nolan. All right then. Um, yeah, all clip is these guys. Uh, we keep Soth up here, right? For now? Yeah. He might have to be a meat shield. Either that or we 
retreat all three of them down to the rest of the group and start making choke points there. Yeah, but unfortunately, like, Aaron already moved. Yep. Yeah, I'm talking about in, like, future turns. All right, then. So, shall we continue? Yep. Yeah, they're using the healing jars, too. Good stuff, Aaron. So if you look, actually, even though we're fighting uh, Tiger and Cat Lagoose here, if you look in the background of the battle map, or actually you can see it here, uh, there are statues of wolves. You're right. Which is uh, w w which is pertinent. It is, actually. That's cool. I never noticed that. All right, so give Micaiah this kill? Yes. Yeah, we should, we should be trying to give Micaiah a constant stream of experience points at all times. Sounds good to me. Uh, doing it through sacrifice works. Uh-huh. But uh, kills are a lot more lucrative. Yeah. Oh, we got a chess key out of that. Beautiful. I am kind of willing to let him stay there, but at the same time, I kind of want to move. Okay, one thing I want to point out now while we're thinking about it. Yeah. So we have treasure chests in the upper left, upper right, lower left, and I don't think lower right now. No. Um, there We've are got three also chests here. two more hidden treasures. One of them is where the leftmost tiger is. Um, those, that spot and the spot below him, have a chance of having a treasure. Gotcha. And there's another one in the lower right. Um, yeah, catty corner to. It starts the space diagonal down right of Nolan. And it's that one, the one below it, and then the one to the right. Got you. Okay. So in that case... Oh, wait, sorry. No, it's the one to the right of Nolan, and then down one, and then right one. Oh, okay. Those, so around the healing three. jar. Yeah, around the healing jar. So in that case, hear me out on this. We're going to get reinforcements here, right? Yep. What if we set up a new choke point here? I think that's possible. Yeah, and we can look for those chests uh, simultaneously. Um, let me double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, man, if that guy transforms, uh, we might be in a little bit of trouble, actually. So maybe we can save those treasure chests for later. I think for now we want to retreat everyone back uh, from this checkpoint, uh, from this choke point here. Do you want to go back into the room? Uh, yes, I do, I think we want to do that. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Okay, and in that case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep I'm gonna leave Aaron here for now, but he's gonna use an herb. Just gonna swallow that leaf. Okay, Meg, you can stay there. Nolan, come over here. Use that healing jar. And I think that's all we can do. I think so. Yep. All right. Go going into this mission with a clear head, it's not as bad. Yeah. It's just, this mission always made me so mad. Oh, it's agony! I didn't think you would do that. Ugh, puny little humans come and fight! Oh, no. Fourteen. As long as he doesn't double. Oh, boy. Okay, good stuff. Good Her stuff, Aaron. Way to, for herbs. Way to hold the line. Yeah, like, I expected, like, this cat to come down and try and do it, but I wasn't expecting Agony to move. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Yes. Um, move Aaron so that he's where the other breakable wall is in case they start breaking through there. I agree. And have him... And we'll have Soth plug the gap. Yeah. Understood. We don't need a... We don't need a... Uh, I don't think we need a uh, herb this time because we're going to have uh, Laura heal him up. Yeah. Let me look at how Soth does against Agony. Also remember, you have the Beast Killer. That's true. Oh my god. Yeah, so that's a get-out-of-jail-free card. Okay, but... 
Might as well, right? Sure. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. We have Micaiah. Take this guy out. Okay. Oh no, that's a pillar! Yeah. Okay, no can do, but... What I'm thinking. Actually, yeah. You will do 12 damage to Soth, which is not that bad. If we if we bring him down 20 points, we're using Soth, Micaiah can kill. Okay. That'll put him at 18, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it's just not enough. Let's see how he does with the card. That has a chance to crit. Chance That's the problem. Crit. That would ruin our plan. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, then in that case, here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack... Yeah, we're going to attack with the light spell, right? Okay. Ooh, a Bayork mage. Shiny, sparkly magic makes me so scared. We do not want your treasures, and we mean no ill will. Step back, and I will, and we will not harm you. If the fire don't roar like a furnace, it don't scare me. <laughs> I'm going to rip your throat out! Good. Good, 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 good. Good. Magic and speed. Always good. Good. <laughs> He's good. Good. Alright, and now, you will have the bronze dagger equipped. Because we're not going for a kill. And we're going to steal. Alright, we need to heal Aaron. On it. And what we're going to do next now is we're going to have Nolan over here. Meg over here. And we're going to have everyone else pile up in here just in case. Okay. I almost wish they would knock down the other wall because then we can get more range attacks at them. Yeah, but it is what it is. Okay, so at most this will do 12 damage. Which is fine. Beautiful! That puts him in killing range. Ooh, and he got a level up. You love to see it. Good! That was Soth's first level up. Was it? I thought he leveled up before. No, he's only at level 1. Now he's at level 2. Okay, that's fine. You and I have different definitions of fine. There are two... There are too many cats. One less. Do it, Micaiah. Alright, mm, that, mm, 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 mm. That's a nice bowl of experience. Ugh. Ugh. What happened to me? You're dead. Alright, and what we're gonna do here is... Well, first, Laura, you come over here. Point. Yeah, if only Ileana could shoot over those walls. Yeah, no, she cannot. But, uh, Edward, come over here. Trade for the Iron Lance. Equip it to him. And there we go. And Nolan and Meg are going to stay put? Yeah, I think Me Meg and Nolan are going to hold the line down here for now. Because we're about to have more cats. Yeah. One thing that's really nice about this game was this was the first one that let you create permanent save files mid-mission. Yeah, I did remember. I do remember that was a thing. But this is an Iron Man run that doesn't really help us. No, it doesn't. Well, it's going to help us in the later chapters where we have to, like, suspend because we're taking too long. Yeah, yeah, it'll help us from, like, a quality of life standpoint. Yeah. It'll make it easier. Oh, he transformed back. This. 
Oh yeah, that that's a thing too. They can uh they, they will run out. They can reserve their points. Good stuff, Soth. Yeah, so it's just kind of our wall right now. Funny, given that he's a thief. Oh, we got more cats up there. Okay, this gives me an idea then. That's not what I thought was going to happen. Okay, I have an idea. So. Oh. Okay, they are both from the top entrance. So that those should be the last reinforcements. Really? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, break down that wall, Leonardo. <laughs> Woo! He just shot an arrow and took down a stone wall. All right, so we're we're pushing a little bit here. Yep, I'm okay with that. Excellent level up. I just I just like Edward. He's so cute. I love his outfit. He's just a nice kid. Good stuff. We're getting Micaiah up there pretty quickly. Now we definitely want to get the chest in the upper right. The other two chests would be good, too, but the upper right looks to be the most valuable. Mm -hmm. And that might be kind of difficult, considering there are enemies right there. Um, We should be able to do it. Yeah. I think I have an idea on how we can do it, too. Okay. Yeah, I think this is good. Ah, oh, man, I wish we had fire magic. Nice. Nolan! And he's more than capable of taking at least one uh, yeah. cat shot. <laughs> cat shot. Cat shot! I don't know, beast, beast hit? I don't know. I guess we'll move Meg up here for the time being. Yep. I just want to be here. <coughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think we can wait on so for now, right? Yeah. Actually, you know what? Do, do you want to move so down there to start looking to start opening chests and stuff? I actually am going to do that, but uh, I'm going to leave him here for now. Actually, first, just for something in a bit. Okay. Because we have this relatively under control now. Yeah. Like, we're still monitoring the situation closely, but we're in good. We're in. A, we're in a good position. We, we've secured a very important spot. Ooh. Oh, I mean, man. HP is HP is good on Nolan, but still, we could have uh, used more than that. Oh, Nolan. Ugh. Not enough. Uh, but if you move somebody, Leonardo can shoot first, and then... Mm -hmm. He can kill! Oh, he can kill. Steal bow. Why not? Go for it. And then have Ileana start on the tiger. Yeah. Mighty, mighty tiger. Sorry, that's titans. <laughs> no, they also do that with tigers for the Frosted Flake. Yeah, pencils. the Frosted Flakes, We are yeah. the tigers, mighty, mighty tigers. Oh, man. Now, now I'm reminded of facing... Of, of uh... Rem uh, remember the Titans. That was one of those movies that was, like, played a lot whenever they needed to play a movie in my elementary school. Uh-huh. 
Honestly, like, I like Remember the Titans. I like that movie, too. No, that's a great movie. Mm -hmm. It's, like, one of those movies that you don't really like. It's kind of unassuming because, like, oh, it's just a football movie, and you know, all yeah. that jazz. But it's a great football movie. Yeah, and it's... That's the thing. And it's a uh, anti-segregation movie. Yep. And got the scene where... I forget if the black one's in the hospital or the white one's in the hospital. Ooh! How did you miss a 91, Eliana? Yeah, wow. That was a once-in-a-lifetime whiff. Okay, now we're gonna get so to like start. Oh, first we gotta go get that hidden treasure. Yep. Quite agree. All right, so. Yeah, we just gotta move Nolan in, I guess. Do you want to heal Nolan first, or do you want to heal Mickey? Did you just call Makaya Mickey? Yeah, it's a it's a nickname. Oh boy. Or a nickname. Ugh, no. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, heal Nolan. I always think about the scene and remember the Titans when one of them's in the hospital. I'm gonna have him stay there. Good plan. And the other one comes to visit, and the nurse is like, We only let Kin in here, son. And the guy is like, Can't you see the resemblance? That's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's like kind of like sweet actually. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really good. I love Remember I, I love uh, Remember the Titans. I like that movie more than I like football. I'm okay with football, but then again, I also have to follow it a lot because I work for the news. I know more about football and I, I know more about football and baseball statistics than I care to admit. Uh this being American football for all you non-Americans out there. Oh! Right? Right? Okay. Master Seal. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, just kind of buried. Why not? Buried there. And this is all gold. Like, we could be freaking rich. Why? What's the reason they don't take it again? Um. I mean, I think they do take some. <gasps> Yo, those glyphs, though. That was cool. <laughs> okay, you know what? You made up for that miss earlier, Liana. That was good. Level 14 Thunder Mage. Wow. Okay, dude, what chapter are we on? Uh, four. <laughs> We're on chapter four. Uh, what the heck are we getting here? Four boss. Oh my lord. Oh lordy lordy. Know how to, I know how to count. Uno, dos, tres, catorce. Okay, so right here is danger. But, given the circumstances here... Uh, remember, there's also something nice where that one Laguz is by the healing pot. There's another hidden treasure... Sorry, I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking of bringing Nolan up here to plug that gap. And just so he does... Just so we don't, like, have anyone... Actually, no. Okay, here's the thing. Because part if of he, the... If he transforms, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe is his movement speed. I'm going to double check. Because I don't want any surprises. One more. Okay, seven. I'm assuming it raises to nine. Yes, because it's seven now, but the beasts uh, go to nine. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, right here is the danger zone. So, if we put Laura here, she should be fine. Yeah, I just don't want them... I just don't want to kill everything before we get a chance to get the treasures, but... So, if we put Nolan down here... Yeah. He will start uh, proccing these guys. Okay. And he's only going to get attacked by one... Because of the healing pot and this uh, and this treasure blocking yeah. away, so let's uh, start corralling everyone down there. Okay. Now we're risking fighting these guys on two fronts right now without Soth. Just 
willing to sacrifice one HP. Perfect. Okay, so can they not transform until after they move? No, they can transform whatever they want. So now you select transform as an action, and you can attack immediately afterwards. Oh, so yes, yeah, they... They can't, like, I don't think you can transform and then move. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Let's see. Might as well give it a shot. All right, that got him yeah. a level up. Sneaking a little damage in there. <laughs> I just realized, because of the kind of armor this guy wears. Yeah. That's Aaron Black. God damn it! Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, nah, I, I can't argue with that one. That was all right. Oh, 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 Leonardo can shoot at the non-transformed one. Oh my from, god, from you're below. right! And, like, wreck his day. Oh, that gives me an idea. <laughs> Cancel your life. And speaking of which, Meg, come here, rescue. Eliana! <laughs> Beautiful! Oh, that worked out perfectly. Thank you for spotting that. Yep. Oh, man. Enemies with no range attacks are so cute. <laughs> Just keep, just keep that experience train rolling. So, Wind Edge? Yeah! Edward! Oh, this is my favorite chapter now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? From now on, let's just dread every chapter so that yeah. it just goes unexpectedly well. Yeah. <laughs> Because if Fire Emblem has proven one thing, it's that it will do anything to make us wrong. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, not terrible. I like resistance. I really like I resistance do like the... on healers. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that just leaves Nolan on the river. Okay, let's not proc the bosses yet. No, 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 we're not going to. Do you actually want to move? Actually, okay, here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move you over here real quick. Laura. Wonderful. Does anybody have a chess key or just so? Uh, as a, as a matter of fact, Micaiah does. Okay, so here's what I think we should do. Yeah? I think we should use a chest key on that chest. I think we should have Soth get the lower right. I agree. The low, I mean, the lower left. And then circle around to sneak in behind while we engage the boss. See, that's what I, that's exactly what I was thinking, actually. So here's what we're going to do. Um, if we can engage this boss and yeah. bring them over here, Soth can sneak in from here up this way. Yep. We are on the same page. Perfect. So first, let's grab this. Pure water. Okay, that can come in clutch later. And we can send things to the convoy now, which is great. Send the master seal. Yeah. Um, also, move somebody into... Yeah, exactly. Wow, oh, it, didn't, it didn't proc. Um, we still have a chance of the space below it. Ooh, 3,000 gold. All right, I'll take it. And you can drop Leonardo. Also, yeah, if we get him to fight us here, we can be shooting over at, over the walls. Ooh, that's a good point, actually. 
Who has a good... Okay. I hope we can still get that. It's it's one of those two spaces that Aaron was on. Alright, we'll keep trying because I think it's luck-based. Yeah, I just hope it's not gone now that we already tried both squares. Well, we'll, we'll keep trying. We'll move everyone here for the time being just to, like, see... Yeah, if... while we wait for south. Uh-huh. Actually, yeah, let's uh, keep you guys down here for now. Yeah. There it Beast is. foe! Yep. Oh! So I'm assuming this gives you an ability that get, that makes you super uh, that makes you super efficient against beast units. Essentially. Okay, good to know. Alright, awesome. Way to go, Aaron. Alright, so all, all that's left is that treasure chest and those two guys. Awesome. Okay, so we're, let's not prop oh, them. it doesn't even show their attack range because they're not transformed. Yeah, let's go ahead and, like, move people up here and we'll wait one more turn. And we'll move uh, Aaron up here and we'll uh, have Nolan yeah. and, uh, engage. Okay. Okay, so I know they're range of seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But eight, nine, if they transform. Yeah, but if that was the case, then they would have come up here. So let's put so here so that he doesn't in proc this dude. Okay. Let's see what happens if we put... Okay. Yeah, let's see what happens if we put Nolan here. Oh, well, can't go far anyway. Wait, is this? Oh, it's sand. Oh, so it's slower. Yeah, it's, that's why. It's difficult terrain. And I'd say don't be afraid to throw Micaiah or Ileana into down where Leonardo is. That's what I was that's what I, that's exactly what I was doing. Yeah. Okay, we're definitely going to get you a new heal staff later. Alright. I'm willing to put him over here. Just in case. Citrus Plate is a funny name. <laughs> I don't know. It rolls off the tongue a little bit, I think. I like it. Perfect! Wow. Death Wish Dan over here. Okay, but we want to get to the treasure chest, remember. Yeah, I think we're going to take care of uh, Pain first. Oh, you actually can't get up there with Yeah, Soth. unless he moves, Yeah. like, Soth can't. So what we can do is we can, like, kind of, like, get this guy to move, and once he does, uh, Soth, can, uh, Soth can come in and take that chest. So I guess for now, we can kind of just, like, nail this guy. Yeah. He didn't transform. Yeah. Why didn't he transform? Because he was bringing the Pain. Ugh. I guess we can have Nolan open up. Yeah. <laughs> Come here so I can taste you. Ew. Wow. You should have transformed, pal. Yeah. Yeah, that, that I... was a critical error in judgment. So, Micaiah? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my lord. <laughs> Bayork are good eats. Listen up. We do not. In we did not intentionally intrude on your territory. <laughs> I'll listen while I'm gnawing on your bones. I mean, consider this. I don't think these guys got all this treasure, like, by ethical means. Oh, absolutely not. But it's not like the Dawn Brigade are law-abiding citizens any uh, either. No. Wonderful. 
<coughs> How did this happen? Okay, so this is a route chapter. Yep. So now the name of the game is Get to the Chest Before We Kill That Guy. Yep. Let's see if he moves. Ah, well, there goes that heal. We need to move closer. I don't know, are you willing to use a men charge on this? Sure. Why not, right? It's not so much for the healing as it is for the experience points. Exactly. Dude, how are we going to get this chest in time now? I have an idea. So we need to stall for one turn. Mm-hmm. Um, we might need to just, like, unequip weapons and... Check the cat's range. I have an idea. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Yeah, get Laura the heck out of there. You stick with the javelin. It's a crapshoot at this point. And switch to the hand axe. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a crapshoot at this point. Yeah. Whether that cat is, like, dumb or whatever, this is basically all we can do. Yeah, I'm hoping she'll go for Meg. As a matter of fact, it is. Alright, Meg. You're not strong enough to kill. Good. Unless you crit all of a sudden, in which case I'm going to be very mad. Awesome. Alright. And Soth can get up there now, right? He should be able to. Definitely. Yes. We got it. We got it. Meg, you were useful for something. A Seraph robe! Yep. Oh, thank goodness. I think that's going to Micaiah. Absolutely. But first... Get that gravy train rolling. And who do we want to give experience to? I, I'm, look, I'm looking at either Edward or Ileana. Oh, both good choices. Um, I'm fine with either of those. I think I want to give it to Edward. Ileana's at level 14 right now. We, if we, like, we invested this much into uh, Edward already, I think we want to, like, really capitalize on that. Yeah. Let's do it. <sighs> okay, we made it. Just to guarantee it. Yep. Crit for good measure. Whew. That's that's almost an Ike attack. Okay. Yune? Yune, where are you? You can come out now. You and that bird. It's a little strange. You're just jealous. Wait, I hear something. I can't hear anything. Someone's singing. It's coming from over there. Micaiah, wait!
Oh, hi. Oh, hi! This is... important. Well, you know he likes him. You... Hello? Who are you? Hi. <laughs> I am Raphael. A voice guided me here. Was it yours? No, but I heard a voice that guided me here as well. Someone or something may want us both here. You're Lagoos, aren't you? One of the Heron clan. And the two beast and a, and two of the beast tribe, right? That is correct, Bayor Keith. Your white wings reveal you're of the Heron royal family. Are you related to Prince Rayson by chance? Rayson? My younger brother? You know of him. You could say that. We served in the same company for a while. What? You are suggesting that my brother is still alive? Yes, he is still alive. And as far as I know, your father the your father the your father the king and the princess Leanne are all are are as well. That was bad grammar, that was so if you, you need your Oxford commas. For real. Unless something happened, all three of them live in the royal palace of Gallia, country of the Beast Tribe. Unbelievable. My father and my sweet Leanne, they're still with me. Oh, goddess. I'm not alone. Not anymore. Raphael. Hello. And you are? I am Nyala, queen of Hatari, and this is Volug, my loyal servant. Our kingdom lies far east of here. There's a country on the other side of the desert? As I said, we have just traveled from there. Until we met Raphael, we didn't know there were there were countries on this side of the desert. After all, no one had ever crossed the desert of death and lived to tell, tell of it. Without Raphael's guidance, we would never have survived the crossing. My people, the Heron clan of Serenis, were blamed for a murder of of Benyon's empress. Benyon mobs rose up in rage and massacred them. I had thought the whole of my clan, my entire race, had been wiped out. I wandered the desert in despair. If not for the queen, I would have died. In Atari, I vowed to dedicate my life to her. And yet, every night for these past three years, a voice has called out to me. Day by day, it has grown stronger. Until the voice led me to you all, your news your news brings such joy. Father, Raisin, Lien, my beloved family, my thanks to thee, O oh goddess. Raphael, you talk too much. Control yourself. You, Bayork, what's the best route to Gallia? For a group of Lagoos, traveling through the day in countryside would be suicide. It will take you longer, but we could take you as far as Crimea. We would be grateful. By all means, let's travel together. But why go to Crimea? Why not travel directly to Gallia? Entering Gallia by yourselves would be nearly impossible. The man you need to get the man you need to get you into Gallia actually resides in Crimea. That man, Ike, is in contact with King Ken King Kenigus and his advisors. There's no doubt in my mind he's the man you need. Right. Lord Ike Lord Ike, hero of the Crimean Liberation leader of the Grail Mercenaries, and father of Silt's children. Which, by the way, <laughs> what the fuck? That's my favorite line. I want to know what spouts that, What? why she says that. Because she doesn't like Ike, and Silt loves Ike. Oh, yeah. So, so she's being like, oh, oh yeah, Silt's in love with him. Oh, yeah, so uh, she's kind of like being, like... <laughs> Hero of the Crimean Liberation, leader of the Grail Mercenaries, and father to Silt's children. Oh, I get it. So she says that sarcastically. Yeah. It's kind of hard to, like, ga gain that from the text. Yeah. But, oof. Ouch. No, that that's a that's a touchy subject between the two of them. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Because, now, now, now that I've read that, I'm like, oh, geez. Because Micaiah doesn't really care about any good that Ike did. She only sees, like, the suffering in the streets of Dayan. Yeah, and, like, it, it's one of those situations where, like, she doesn't necessarily understand that, hey, if Ike did none of this... Crimea would probably be in the exact same scenario as Dayan is right now, and Dayan would probably still be worse. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Ashnard was not running the place well, and it, and part of Ashnard's plan was to let Dayan 
burn and collapse. Pretty much. But so <clears throat> as far as far as Makai had, Makai even said earlier, like, like some people see Ike as our arch enemy. She said some people to not start a fight with Soth, but she also sees Ike as an arch enemy. Oh, absolutely. She does not care for the man. In fact, if I recall correctly, and this is actually one of the cooler things, in my opinion, of uh, this game, the Dawn Brigade and the Grail Mercenaries come to blows later. They certainly do. And it's really cool. Like, that's actually one of my favorite chapters in this game, is when the two, when the two armies you, like, have been building up eventually clash. And it's actually a really cool, really cool yeah. setup. And potentially terrifying. Yeah, that's actually a hard chapter too. But we'll get we're getting ahead of ourselves. Thank you guys for joining us for chapter four of Let's Play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I'm the Green Scorpion. I'm the Comic Foil. And by the way, yeah, Wolf Lagoos. Yes, uh, That was a uh, Nyla. Yeah, the lost uh Lagoos tribe from across the desert. It's really sick. So yeah, we got Raphael, we got Nyla, and we got Volug. All really, really cool characters, mind you. Yeah, weirdly enough, uh Volug becomes another, like, not allowed to die character. It's weird. Yeah. I think it's I think only in certain chapters, right? Uh, or is it all the no, time? No, for for the foreseeable future, yeah. Huh. I guess mainly it's one I guess maybe it's one of those scenarios where like if Volug dies, Nyla kinda gets lost in the whole situation yeah more or less and like i guess like future plot threads would not pan out really well if volume dies it's because he's part dog and you don't you don't kill the dog fair enough that is true 